Fighter jets are some of the most modern military aircraft in the world, and they've gone a long way from the days of World War I and World War I. -A. We now have fifth-generation fighters flying in various air arms throughout the world, and of course, the F-35B Lightning I is one of the most fantastic in the world. But there are others out there too, such as the awe-inspiring F-22 Raptor. The Lockheed Martin aircraft first flew in September 1997. However, it still feels like yesterday that the aircraft entered service. Since then, it has become one of the most costly fighter aircraft ever manufactured. As you could expect, it is solely used by the United States Air Force and is one of the most capable aircraft ever produced and is currently regarded as a crucial component of the United States Air Force's tactical air power. It's hardly been the simplest of births either for the F-22, with the manufacture of the aircraft ending in 2009. But it has become one of the most capable jet fighters in the world and a critical element of the United States military. Development and Background of the F-22 The F-22 has not had the simplest existence. The idea for the F-22 was initially envisioned back in 1981, as the U.S. Air Force USAF sought a replacement for the F-15 Eagle and the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The Air Force needed to stay up with modern Soviet aircraft of the period, as well as the Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker and the Mikoyan MiG-29, two of the most sophisticated fighters of the time. Companies were then encouraged to compete on a contract to manufacture the new aircraft, with Lockheed and Northrop becoming the final two. In the end, between the bidding aircraft and engine manufacturers, it was finally Lockheed and Pratt and & Whitney that won out over Northrop and General Electric. The first F-22 was originally displayed in April 1997, and it first went to the skies on September 7th of the same year. The new technology associated with creating the F-22 saw the program incur enormous overruns in terms of cost and time, with the overall cost of the program projected to be around the $67.3 billion mark when the final F-22 left the assembly line in 2011. Amazingly, the F-35 is cheaper than the F-22, despite its inherent issues. The F-22 in USAF service It wouldn't be until December 2005 that the first F-22 was initially introduced into the U.S. Air Force service. It rapidly demonstrated its usefulness during Exercise Northern Edge in June 2006, with 12 F-22s shooting down 108 enemies in simulated exercises with no casualties to itself. A red flag exercise in early 2007 again showed the supremacy of the F-22 as it maintained air dominance against bigger numbers of rival F-15s and S-16s and the Raptor was proving itself to be a very dependable aircraft as well. Only one F-22 was lost in the simulated drills. The F-22 would see its first combat action in September 2014, when it saw employment in the initial attacks of the American-led operation in Syria, Operation Inherent Resolve. The F-22 would show its effectiveness by stopping Syrian, Iranian, and Russian aircraft from targeting the U.S.-backed Kurdish troops. The F-22 would also see combat usage in Afghanistan in 2017 when they flew with B-52 bombers to strike opium manufacturing and storage sites in Taliban-controlled regions of the nation. The F-22 has also intercepted other Russian bombers that are sighted approaching American airspace, including the 295 MS and the 2160. Performance of the F-22 It might have had a rocky beginning, but there can be no denying the performance of the F-22. The aircraft features two Pratt and Whitney F-100 and 19 PW-100 enhanced turbofans that produce 26,000 olds of thrust apiece, which goes up to 35,000 olds with the afterburner. The Raptor has a total range of 1,800 miles and a top speed of 1,500 miles per hour, which approximately is around Mach 2.25. Thrust vectoring is a crucial component of the aircraft, 
and it can carry multiple weaponry including its Vulcan rotary gun, sidewinder missiles, and up to 1,000 olds worth of bombs. The Future of the F-22 Despite the debut of the F-35B, the F-22 is expected to see service with the U.S. Air Force for some time ahead. Ultimately, it will be replaced by a sixth-generation fighter, although that is still some years away. And as we have seen in the past with the USAF, they are not hesitant to modernize aircraft to keep them flying for even longer. The F-16 and F-15 are still in USAF service today, despite the Raptor being conceived and manufactured to replace both aircraft. Despite its difficult beginnings, it seems probable there is a lot more to come from the F-22.